About 13 years ago, we decided we we're gonna build a house. Can I tell you, I had no idea what that entailed. We had never built a house before. And so I figured, why not be my own contractor? Well, that was a big mistake, but I was committed to do it. So fortunately, a lot of the people in the church were subcontractors, so we had a good working relationship. Uh, the, the hardest part for me, though there were many hard parts, was making sure that the foundation was right. I remember one of the guys in our church, Wayne Johnson, came and helped us get the foundation set up. And then another one of our guys was a plumber. We spent one cold, cold morning going in there and laying out the plumbing and so forth that had to go in first so that you'd have a good foundation. And then, and then we came back with the wire, of course, and we were getting ready to pour. And the day that they came to pour, they measured and part of the slab was gonna to be too thin. And so you can only imagine how frustrated we were. We had to pull out all the wire, had to go back in there and dig out and then get it all together. But I'm glad we did that because the foundation of our home was so very important. So 12 years later, uh, so far, uh, we're still on the top of that little hill there because we took the time to lay a good foundation. The scriptures have a lot to say about the foundation of your life. I guess the question this morning is, is what kind of foundation are you laying with your life? Matthew chapter seven, Jesus said this, everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who builds his house on the rock. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it was founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against the house and it fell and great was its fall. In this passage, in what's called the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus is reminding us that everyone builds their foundation upon something. We all have different values that we place in our life and we do what we do. We live how we live based upon those values. We all have them. Jesus said, here's, here's two choices. Here are two choices. You can listen to what I have to say because I only have your good in mind and you can build the foundation of your life based upon that. And it'll be like a foundation on a rock that no matter what happens, inevitably the storms are coming. And so he says, if you follow what I say, you'll have a good foundation. If you don't, it's like building your house on a foundation of sand. And when the storms come, you'll not have a house very long because the foundation will not be properly laid. I guess the thing to think about is, because we're all building on a foundation, is does the foundation or is the foundation that you're building on, will it sustain you through the storms of life? because you can count on the fact that they're going to come. Jesus said, come to me, give your life to me, follow me, and I will help you to build your foundation upon the rock. Of course, Jesus himself is that rock. So thank you so much for joining us today for our devotional thought.